you strong. Serious. What are some places on Earth that remain unexplored because they are too dangerous or difficult to enter? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's all about the deep ocean. We've only recently developed the tech to enter deep sea territories, and there are more of those area-wise than all the land on Earth. Think about that. Think about all the obscure terrestrial species just discovered this century, and then think about the fact that they were 100 times easier to discover than most of the stuff on the sea floor. The Tomb of Emperor Qin, the one with the famous terracotta warrior army, the mausoleum has been partially excavated, which is why we know all those soldier statues exist, but the emperor's actual resting place remains untouched. It'd be an archaeological treasure trove, being a literal underground palace. The issues of grave robbing and damage to the artifacts aside, it's likely laced with toxic mercury. Gangkar Punsum Bhutan, tallest unclimbed mountain in the world. Four expeditions have been made to get up, but I have failed due to weather and safety conditions. We don't know what could be up there. Uh, rocks? Most of Papua New Guinea is unexplored. It's considered the least explored country. There's over 40 uncontacted tribes living in the jungles and over 800 native languages. The prison island of Macronysos in Greece. The Greek government really does not want people to know what exactly happened there. North Tanzania's Lake Natron looks and acts a lot like a lake of fire. The lake's high levels of natron, sodium carbonite decahydrite, makes its water corrosive to human skin and eyes, sometimes reaching a pH level of over 12. The lake also contains red-colored bacteria, resulting in its unique pink-red hues. Even if most species cannot handle the 120-degree lake, cyanobacteria have made natron their home and turn the lake its trademark reds and oranges. Surprisingly, 2.5 million lesser flamingos call Lake Natron their home. Danakil Desert in East Africa have temperatures that regularly exceed 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, volcanoes and geysers that spew toxic gas. Your physical health can take a massive hit even after a short time. The most adverse effects occur due to the presence of high concentration of poisoning vapors of sulfur in the region. This region is a volcanically active area, and the air temperature in the desert rarely falls below 50 degrees Celsius. Enjoy your stay. Not truly unexplored, but government protected, Plum Island in Connecticut. Apparently, they have been using that for research and testing. Always heard of it growing up and can go near it on boat, but always warned to never try to get onto the island. Alahi's Mines in Bera, Ireland. Lots of mining disasters, ground very unstable. Many of the miners who survived went to Butte, Montana, and Deadwood, South Dakota. My family went to Butte and Deadwood, saved their money, and came home to Bear to buy our family farm. They bought it in the late 1800s when the native Irish were allowed to buy land. Most of the Alahilis mine are still closed off. They are reputed to be haunted, and honestly, I believe it. It's an eerie place. Mount Kailash. It's sort of forbidden, but there have been attempts and people have reported strange phenomena at the base of the mountain and have found it very difficult to climb. F4 Objectum in Hungary. It's an old, now abandoned bunker of the president that's hard to enter. The interesting thing about it is that F4 means Fomundkali number four, or main workplace number four, which indicates that there are still three out there under Budapest, but nobody knows where. The basement of Chernobyl. It is highly radioactive due to the elephant's foot. The elephant's foot is a mass of corium. The corium is compiled of melted concrete, steel beams, nuclear fuel rods, and anything else that melted into it as it melted through the floor. It is so deadly that even now, being around it for 300 seconds will cause you to die relatively quickly. Being around it for 30 seconds will cause dizziness, fatigue, and nausea. The mass was caused by the explosion of the power plant, which heated the materials to form corium. Chernobyl had to be evacuated and is now rarely visited due to high levels of radiation. The Governor Mine near Acton, California was active from the 1800s till 1942. 
there were rich streaks where the gold was said to look like grains of rice in the host rock that yielded hundreds of dollars per ton. The main shaft went down to over 1,000 feet, with levels branching off every 100 feet or so. By the 80s, the long, inactive site was in disrepair, and at some point, an explorer fell down the shaft into an area so unsafe, old, unstable dynamite, poison gases, failing timbers, and collapses, that his body was never recovered, and the mine was permanently sealed. There used to be thousands of old mine shafts and adits all over the mountains and desert. In the last 25 years, the BLM and other agencies have been systematically sealing them off. An old silver mine in the Calico area had a solid rock hanging wall that the ore collected beneath, so when it was excavated, they placed large tree trunks as timbers. Over the decades, the weight caused some of these to blow out into a bundle of splinters somewhere along the length. There were three rickety ladders, leading to a lower level with rails and rock fall on the floor, and a stoop-low ceiling. I explored this one several times before it was sealed off forever. I have a friend who died base jumping at Baffin Island in the Arctic Circle over 10 years ago. His body is still there, because it was too difficult to recover. I presume the area around him is pretty unexplored. Mostly the whole Antarctic continent, it is huge, containing sprawling valleys and plains, gigantic mountain ranges, and some of the highest elevation and wildest plateaus on Earth. Only some parts of it have been properly explored. Most of it is covered by thick ice during winter, it's dark and sunless for months. Without the proper equipment, humans would last just a few minutes before dying of hypothermia. It holds countless billion-year-old archaeological secrets and innumerable mineral riches buried beneath the ice. It is truly a treasure trove. Kamchatka, Russia. Closed to the public for a long time. Area the size of California and has over 300 volcanoes, one that's been erupting since 1996. Singi de Bemaraha National Park, Madagascar. High amount of unique to the region biodiversity, much of the area is closed to tourists very unique limestone formations. Mount Namuli, Mozambique. It's a mountain, but has a forest growing on top, which is only accessible by climbing. Some scientists did some exploration there recently. Very cool story. Cape Melville, Australia. Only accessible by helicopter. Extremely isolated and difficult to access. As such, it's not really been explored much except by some scientists. Three new animals discovered there in 2013. Surtsey Island located off the coast of Iceland. Formed between 1963 and 1967 from volcanic eruptions, only a handful of scientists have been there, totally free from human interference, being kept that way to see how life develops naturally on a newly formed island. A little late to the party, but I wanted to contribute. Snake Island in Brazil. It's named Snake Island because it is literally infested with thousands and thousands of deadly snakes. There are thought to be about 4,000 golden lanceheads on the island, one of the most venomous snakes on the planet. It has been officially made illegal to travel to the island by the Brazilian government because of how dangerous it is. North Jungus Road is known as the Death Road for all the right reasons that you can guess. Driving up or down this 43-mile, 69-kilometer switchback is extremely dangerous because of fog, landslides, waterfalls, and cliffs falling 2,000 feet 610 meters in each turn. Until 1994, almost 300 drivers were killed every year. You have to check out the Sentinelese Island. This island is still unexplored by anyone because of the tribes living there that constantly reject all contacts with outsiders. They actually kill anyone who dares to go to the island. The Earth's inner layers, 400 miles deep inside the Earth, is supposed to be three times the amount of water on the surface. The water is past boiling point, but is under so much pressure it remains a liquid. The Earth's core is supposed to be solid iron and near zero gravity. Cool. Skeleton Island in Ireland, eerie place apparently. Story goes that it was a witch's warlock place of worship. They would take young kids there to sacrifice them. This was hundreds of years ago. No one goes there now or has done for as long as there are records. It is an island in a lake in the middle of the country. Lots of different stories or myths around the island, but it has never been explored. 
I know of it because my father's father was a seventh son, a big deal in Ireland, so he would have been allowed to go to the island by the elders if he so wished. He did not. Ted Bundy Caves in Utah You aren't supposed to go in there because of how dangerous it can be and it's all blocked off with bars and people still go inside. These caves are where Ted Bundy would sometimes dump his victims. Mount Canucti in Northern California It is thought that the inside of it is a hollow magma chamber. Natives claim that they explored into the mountain and found eyeless fish and strange other things inside. It is believed that it could be the largest cavern in the world. It was closed off because it was privately owned, and those tunnels are prone to collapse because there are so many earthquakes here. Mongar Fort in Rajasthan, India It's a historical monument and is one of the scariest places in India. It is believed to have witnessed a number of paranormal activities and people, volunteers, who stayed in to prove that the rumors were untrue, never returned. Bangra, Rajasthan Skeleton Coast is a pretty bad one. It has harsh weather, little to no food supply, and is scattered with animal remains. It also has large amounts of violence from the local gangs on the island, like robberies and such. Supply Depot in Long Binh in Vietnam It has been left intact ever since the withdrawal of the U.S. Army. The door were tightly sealed and Vietnam is afraid of busting it open for fearing of traps. Some doors even self-destructed when Vietnam tried to open it and Soviets, experts, failed to open them as well. U.S. so far has been refusing to help Vietnam open it. It will probably stay like that for the foreseeable future.